at the airport. <laughs> we made it, barely. <laughs> uh, well, not true. We're here and our flight doesn't start boarding for like 50 Another minutes. Hour. Yeah, yeah we, have, we have plenty of time. But good morning, everyone, and welcome to a Tuesday. <laughs> it's so weird. I felt like saying Monday, but it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. Yeah. I felt like it was Thursday, actually, yesterday, because I was like, I don't work tomorrow. Yeah, it felt like, it felt like Friday yesterday. <laughs> I, I, I meant to shower this morning, but we woke up uh, a half hour later than we meant to. Because our and phone didn't we had go to, off. Yes, and then we had to call him a, a lift like, right away. Like, again, he got here like within 11 minutes or so, and... It was, we were kind of rushing because we didn't have everything put together because we would, we had extra stuff out just like, we were like, oh, we'll pack this stuff in the morning, but. Like, stuff for after the shower for him, like our toothbrushes and like his hair gel yeah. and like things like that. We all, we just like dumped it all in the bag. We're like, oh well, so that's, that was our morning and it was, I woke up and I looked at my phone and I was like, it's four o'clock, we're supposed to leave right now, so. And I was like, Christopher, and he was like, what? And I was like, it's four, <laughs> and we panicked. But we got out the door by like what 4:15. 4:15. So it was it was okay. And we got here by five. And it's good that like I prepped so much well, and we yeah. were all pretty much set besides just like the finishing touches. So it's almost 5:30. Our plane leaves at 6:45. I'm gonna go stand in line at Dunkin' Donuts to get some food because we are starving. We're so hungry. <laughs> Giselle got a sausage egg and cheese bagel, and I got the same thing, just on a for sauce that's slightly burnt, but I'm sure it'll taste good regardless. Our flight is starting to get packed up. That was really good, but there's this really good looking pastry place that I want to go and look at and possibly get something from also to bring over the plane, because our flight is like seven hours long, so. Like I said, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily quick, but it was very easy. Like she said, it was not a difficult flight at all. It felt like it went by really quick. I watched two movies, and by the time I was done, we were here. So. So not smooth. <laughs> Developments have happened. We have landed. We're in a car. <laughs> oh, we already did the landed part. Yeah. Yes, we're in a car. We're in a car. <laughs> and. Oh, it's so nice and the weather's so nice and all the palm trees and it looks like home and yeah. I'm really excited and we're about to do something so insanely flipping exciting. We'll be there in three minutes. I'm going to well, lose my mind. Well, two things that are exciting actually. Yes. They're right next to each other. The first one is food. Oh my gosh, I'm so The second hungry. one is a bit more, a bit more interesting than that. Yes. We're going to get in and out obviously because Giselle is in and out. If you haven't seen 
uh, the vlog that just came out before this one, the, the third catch-up vlog. The reason we're in California is so Giselle can see her house that she grew up in for the last time because her parents are moving. We're also going to go to Disneyland and just kind of hang out and do other things and we'll be here until Sunday. We got a rental car. It's kind of cramped. Like, it's not as, I don't like it as much as our new car, which is making me appreciate our new car even more than I already do. But I was kind of hoping they would let me pick something on my own, but that's fine. Anyway, we are on our way to Inno and we're both really hungry, so. So we actually decided to go to where we're going first. And that is a bookstore that Giselle loves. She'll tell you about it in a second. But we had to, we have to move our car at noon, so uh, we're gonna just go to In-N-Out afterwards. Uh, so we're gonna go to this bookstore first. Giselle, tell us about the bookstore. So this is the Ripped Bodice Bookstore in the Culver City, LA area, California. <laughs> they have a really strong online presence. I follow them on Instagram and I have for, I think about two years now. They have an in-store dog who comes and hangs out sometimes. His name is Fitz and the bookstore is owned and run by two wonderful sisters named Leah and Bea and they are just adorable and wonderful. about this bookstore besides it just being romance focused which is totally my jam and like everything I love they're insanely feminist and women empowering and you can just tell how much they like throw their hearts and soul into this business They're constantly like posting their videos and photos online of like the different projects that they're doing. They're trying to be inclusive to everyone. They have they just spend so much time and energy and it makes really beautiful a really beautiful community and place and it's honestly just so wonderful. So yeah, that's why I love this bookstore and I've been dying to come. How was that, Giselle? Amazing. Beautiful, incredible. I really wish that Leah B or Fitz or all of them were all here. Yeah, we really wanted to see Fitz the dog. He's a one-eyed dog. He's so cute and so Giselle shows me pictures of him all the time on Instagram and he's awesome. Yes, I'm sure Christopher's popping some up on the screen right now, but he's adorable and Leah B are the owners. And I would have loved to have met either or both of them, but unfortunately not. But maybe next time. It means I just have to come back. Yes, we're gonna. We might try to come back on Sunday to see if they're gonna be here, yeah. just to pop in and see if see Fitz and maybe one of the owners. We'll see. And now it's time for In and Out because uh, we're both 
even hungry now because we, like I said, we meant to go to in and out first, but now we have to move the car and we're just gonna like go to in and out now and park there, obviously, so fun stuff. It's just like right around the corner and now we're both really, really hungry. The nice big line for in and out it's obviously very popular as we already knew, but uh, the guys back there already took our order when we were way back there when we started, so we're inching up pretty decently, right? And we're also, something I completely forgot we were doing, but I'm really excited about now that I remember that we're doing it, and just I was looking it up now, we're going to a Disney outlet. Yeah. So I watch a lot of Disney World videos, and uh, people that I watch that go there uh, go to the Disney outlet in Florida a lot. They have a lot of merchandise that uh, is outdated or just like t has been taken out of the parks and has been discounted quite a bit at these outlets, so they do that here too, so we're going to go to, there's two of them here, so we're going to go to one of them at least. Yes. yes. Probably just one of them. Probably just one. Yeah, because there's one that's like really far out of the way, but yeah. So we're going to go right now before we go to Disneyland tomorrow. The most thrilling part of our day so far, sitting in the in and out carpool, carpool, car drive through. Car drive through. There we go. Scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? I'm very excited. I guess we're going to eat and drive. That's not a number Just, between 1 and 10. Oh, 10. <laughs> they gave us these things to eat on, like, placemats, I guess. I guess I'll just, I guess I can still put it in my lap when we're driving, but we have to drive and eat because we have to, there's nowhere to park. It's, just, it's very cramped, and there's not really any place to park, so we're just going to drive to the Disney outlet and eat at the same time. <laughs> it Those looks really good. angels singing. Those are the, oh. the fries singing. I've missed you. I've missed you so much. <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> uh, and Christopher got a shake too. I did. And we're here. We found it. We got stuck in traffic. But yeah. <laughs> we got here pretty quickly. Not too bad. Disney Outlet. We're at this place called the Citadel Outlets. There's a whole bunch of outlets. It's like a giant outdoor outlet mall kind of thing. And. Hopefully we find something interesting here. We did bring lots of clothes, obviously, but it would be cool to find some more Disney stuff to wear at Disney. So a couple of the things we've picked up. I watched Moana on the plane on the way here, and I literally thought to myself, if I find a plush of uh, Pua, then I will get him because he's the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I love this pig so much, so I think I might get him. I also found these pajama pants that are incredible. I love them. Another thing that I really, really wanted to get, I wanted to get an all-black version of this. It's a spirit jersey. I really want the all-black version. I'm thinking I'm going to buy that tomorrow in the park, but I'm going to buy this one today because it's more than half off here. And I'm going to wear it tomorrow because I love the design of the spirit jerseys. Here, turn it over. They're, I think, these like giant letters on the back, and I really want ones from Disneyland and Disney World. Eventually, we'll get one from Disney World also. I love the way they look. And Giselle found this, which is really cool. Is this Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. That's what I thought. It's so. I really like it a lot. I like it too. <laughs> there I am with Giselle's purse. I typically don't usually go into Disney stores when I'm by them, like when they're in malls and stuff, because it's just really. High, high priced stuff in general, but there I've seen a lot of really cool discounts here already, like on that spirit jersey and Pua. If I get a, if I get the stuffed Pua, which I'm a 27 year old man, I know, but whatever, it's leave me alone. But if I get it, I can also get a stuffed Mickey for like severely discounted, also, or another stuffed thing. I'm not sure, but. So, we are a little bit decked out, uh, yeah. But they're so cool. What they really are. are. We love all these mugs. <laughs> they're amazing. We should add up how much all this is going to cost. We should not add it up. And just do it. When the cashier says the total, we should just cover our ears and go, la, la, la. okay, and just give a mark on our card. They gave us a a little basket that came up and asked us if we wanted one and apparently we do we didn't realize we were getting so much but it's even in, there's, the mugs aren't even in here the mugs that we're getting so 
we got a few things. Just a couple. Just a couple. <laughs> we filled up. We brought our own bag with us. We didn't it's from the Brattle at, in Boston. Yeah, we didn't buy all the mugs, so be proud of our self-control. Yeah. So we did cut back a little bit. I did still end up getting this headband though because it's just so stinking cute and I love pirates so much. Um, and then we got the the mug with the the apple mug from Snow White. And then we also got the Robin Hood mug and the uh, Cheshire, Cat, Cheshire mug. Cat mug. The ones yeah. that were like fully done instead of the sketched animated ones even though they were so cute. And then... <laughs> I got, so we have a Sorcerer and Mickey sitting on top of our TV and I want to put him next to our Sorcerer and Mickey. And uh, the thing was, if you bought a one of the plushes, you got another one for only $2, uh, which is actually a lot of money off of the regular, regular price. So I got the Pua also, the pig from Moana, because he's stinking adorable and I love him. Oh my gosh, Christopher, while he was watching Moana, he had headphones on and was watching it and he kept like tapping me and just like out loud laughing just whenever Pua was on screen. Well I, would, I was like tapping her and pointing at the screen because she wasn't looking because she wasn't watching it with me but every time Pua was doing something awesome and he I would was, just like crack up and I was like oh my gosh. Because <laughs> he is awesome and then I got the my spirit jersey yeah. that I'm probably going to wear tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear it tomorrow. Oh really? Yes I would like to wear it tomorrow I think. But it's like the material is for this for this specific kind of spirit jersey. They have a few different materials for them, uh, but the style is all the same. For this one, it's like moisture wicking, so it's like sweat sweat resistant, and it also has sun resistance. So, cool beans. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and we uh, we did have a couple other things, but we put put some stuff back, and we are actually pretty reserved for the amount of stuff that we were holding. We got rid of a couple things, so. Yeah, we're gonna go into a couple more outlets. Just, I don't know if we'll film them or not. We just want to kind of browse around because there's a lot of outlets here to be interested in. Christopher, we are now at the most exotic location in the high desert, Walmart. <laughs> yeah, we're we're up here now. We're like only a few minutes away from Giselle's house. We're gonna pick up a couple things and then head over to their house, eat dinner, and then sleep early, probably. Mm -hmm. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. <laughs> this is the cat that I got when I was t 10, 11. She was a baby kitten. She's smoky. So now she's around is... 11 or 12 human years. And she's the sweetest kitty ever. She is so calm and nice and very shetty. <laughs> and. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And I won't let her go because I missed her so much. <laughs> and, but as you can see, I'm already breaking out, swelling up. Yeah. yeah, allergic to cats and playing with a cat. Great idea. <laughs> so sweet. And we really need to brush her, obviously. So that is something that's going to happen. But for now, I'm just giving her lots of loves. We're here, obviously. Now, we've been here for like a half hour, maybe. Yeah, um, yeah, maybe a little bit longer than that. But to show you another one of my childhood obsessions, when I was a kid, I was in love with butterflies, especially like swallowtail and monarch butterflies, because that's mostly what we had around here. So there's one actually up on this tree right now. And I found it in the grass. My mom found it in the grass. She thought it was dead, so she poked it. It wasn't dead. She was all wet from the sprinklers, and so I put her up on this limb to see if she'll dry, and hopefully she does. It, I don't know if she's gonna die. Maybe it looks like her wing might be injured right here. See where how this one comes out and has that loop? This one just comes in. Yeah, comes it looks up. like her wing is injured, yeah. So I don't know if she'll be able to fly again, but when we first found her, this wing was completely like in with this wing, and it just looked like one. Oh. This one is two separate. So like that is popped out again, so we'll see. But she's starting to dry, and hopefully, Poor thing. It'll survive? Yeah. I don't know. Its leg is twitching up here, and I don't know if that's it trying to clean itself or if that it's like twitching in agony or something. I don't know. If I keep the cord on while I'm, while I'm recording, then I end up strangling myself, but Christopher's sitting in the back all alone. Hi. Um, Mom should be here, but she's... Uh, mail keeps getting delivered to her wrong, and vice versa with this other lady. 
So she's taking the mail up to the door to like talk to her and be like, I'm sorry, I sorry I opened your package. So anyway, we're gonna go, I'm not really in focus right now. Anyway, we're gonna go to the grocery store to pick up stuff for to eat tomorrow and things and- To eat tomorrow. Well, to eat, Disneyland eat tomorrow morning for yeah. breakfast before we leave. And- We're leaving bright and early. We're gonna get my favorite treat in the whole world. It's gonna be amazing and we didn't show dinner. I know this is the week all about food. I forgot to show dinner. We just got so sucked into the deliciousness that we didn't eat it. It yeah, was it was just Chinese takeout, but it's my favorite Chinese takeout place. So it was all right. Christopher has to say that <laughs> because his dad owns a Chinese restaurant. But I love this so much, and I have a lot of nostalgia around it. But also, it's just it's good Chinese food, and I enjoyed it a lot. So that was dinner, and we're all really full. So we're gonna go buy a dessert. So it's quite a bit later. We the camera died when we were out, so I didn't actually get to show you around Winco, but Winco is like my favorite grocery store. I love it and I really, really, really miss it. They just have such a good like selection and they're very inexpensive and just wonderful. And <laughs> but my favorite thing to get there, and they have all these like barrels. With like, they have all these like barrels with like wheats and grains and flour and candy in them, like a bajillion different kinds of candy. <laughs> and so I always go and get a crap ton of chocolate covered cinnamon bears. So this is him. He doesn't look too exciting. He's just a cinnamon bear covered in chocolate, but I've been absolutely in love with these for as long as I can remember since I was a kid. We used to get them up in Utah, but then Winco moved in when I was in Arabia around like 10 or 11, and they started carrying them there, and it was a bad time for um, me wanting to go and get them all the time, essentially. So this is him. It's literally just a cinnamon bear covered in chocolate, and if you love cinnamon bears, I really recommend you try in these because they are, if I could only have one candy for the rest of my life, I'd probably choose these because I love them that much. And I don't know if the amount that I got is enough. I think I'm going to have to go back on Saturday and like really stock up for Massachusetts because they're just so amazing. Anyway, the other thing that I got are these. <laughs> these are basically just like a, a watermelon flavored lollipop covered in like a, a spicy like chili powder and it's absolutely amazing this is one of my favorite candies as well and I have a really hard time finding them uh if you remember a few months ago I made Christopher try Lucas it's essentially like Lucas powder but with like a sweet delicious watermelon popsicle they're but not popsicle <laughs> sweet delicious watermelon lollipop and it's so so good i know christopher is gonna hate them but i got them and i love them so i mostly got watermelon ones but then i also got a, a, a decent amount of the mango the mango flavored ones because i know i really enjoyed these as well and then i've never tried these before so or not that, are, that i remember i may have tried them before there's so i only got like two or three of these but these are corn flavored ones so we'll see <laughs> so the popsicle is corn flavored and he looks like a piece of corn covered in a spicy sauce. And then this is the mango one. And this is how much I got of those. I don't think I'll need to go stock up on more of these, but this will last me a good while because I have a very low heat tolerance. So I can only eat one at a time and then my mouth is on fire. So worth it? I think so. <laughs> but it's a little, a little much for my not great taste buds. The other thing I wanted to show you Wow, the light in here is not great. We'll get it out of here soon. This is Christopher's body wash. We brought more body wash than this, but there's actually a hole right there. It all leaked out over all of our toiletries. So this is like all the stuff that I had to like rinse off that was just like coated in like a blue gel. He's had that particular can containers for a while before I even met him, so it's it's been put to good use, but it's it's finally kicked the bucket, so he's just gonna use what's left in here, and then we're gonna chuck this container because 
So that's pretty much it for today. I'm sorry we didn't vlog earlier. Uh, my mom and I, as soon as we got home, like I said, the camera was dead, and then I jumped on the piano and we played a bunch of duets for a while. Uh, they were so beautiful and so great, and none, neither of us made any mistakes at all. Christopher can affirm to that, right? Sure. It sounded so good. Oh my gosh, it was a mess. My mom, my mom's good, but I am way out of practice and had a hard time reading the music. I mean, I can still play the piano. It's not like I'm going in as a beginner or anything, but I need I need to work on my piano playing skills because it was a bit of a mess, but it was really fun and I had a great time. My favorite piece that we played together was probably uh, The Queen of Sheba, which I believe is from the water, water music. Um, so that was really fun and it was, just, it was just a good old time. And now Christopher and I are both really tired Go, we're gonna. I can't even talk. We're gonna go to sleep now, and wake up super bright and early. I mean, it's only nine. It's only like nine or nine thirty, so we're gonna be getting plenty of sleep. But we're gonna wake up around five thirty, and then it's gonna be Disneyland. I'm so excited. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. It's been a long time since I could say that.